editor of the Latin Kitchen, and we are here in Colorado at the gorgeous Aspen Pinot Wine Glass. Look at this view! I, I enjoy coming to you know, Aspen Food and Wine. You know, I, I get to see a lot of chefs that I maybe not typically see on, on a daily basis you know, because I travel so much and I'm not in one place uh, you know, very long. So I get to see a lot of the chefs I haven't seen in a long time, you know, old friends. Um, you see what the you know, new chefs are doing, so it's, it's a learning experience. You know, I'm, I'm on the season's Top Chef Masters. Um, you know, it's, it, was, it was a great experience. Um, you know, it's, uh, nerve-wracking because you know it's, again it's a reality show you, you really don't know what to expect and as everybody knows you know Top Chef you know they, they control everything around you and they don't you know let you use your cell phones and they, you know they keep you in a very controlled environment and you know I'm a very hyper person so to keep me sit, sitting down <laughs> for five hours in one place is very very challenging uh, you know corn or flour tortilla definitely corn uh, tequila or mezcal uh, definitely tequila Classic. We are on top of the Prospector Condominium Apartments and we are talking with Food Network star, oh, I love, I love hearing that. I'm like, I'm a star? What are you talking about? Well, with this kind of dramatic setting. Yes, yes. This, I kind of feel like I am a star. Everyone's a star. Today we're serving wines that have all been imported from Spain. We're serving food. We got a DJ. I mean, we're making like white anchovies that have been marinated with capers and sun-dried tomatoes. We got fresh serrano that I sliced this morning with all the top and all. And a little like Mancheco. We're gonna change no octopus. We put the oysters in the water. They are in the bath. They are having a good conversation. They are opening up. Boom, you go and you open them. Bye.